What's up, crew? What's up? It's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So, we got a fun day ahead. If you can't tell, we're both pretty excited. <laughs> Woo! So, we're pretty excited. Um, let me just give you a little preview. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, do it fast, do it fast. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's the only preview you get. All right, no more, no more, no more. So, what we're going to be talking about today is your thoughts and what God has to say about that. And I'm super, super, super pumped. But after this, we have another fun activity. Yeah, and that is... A game, right? A game? Yeah. I love games. Yeah. I love games. So we're going to see you guys after this game, and we're going to go into our teaching. All right, All right see right. you then. See you guys. Is that really in the Bible? Thumbs up if you think so. Thumbs down if you think not. Moses' middle name was Brian. A man with a crazy name lived to be 969 years old. A man met up with a talking donkey. A prophet named Jedediah told Noah to build the ark. A guy ate a book. It tasted like honey, but it gave him a bellyache. Isaiah made soup with carrots and rocks. God gave a prophet a crazy bread recipe. David went to war with the Visigoths. <laughs> Till next time, thanks for playing. Is that really in the Bible? Yeah.
God made people, he made a boy, he made a girl, gave us dominion over creation, told us to go into all the world, we were made in the image of God, every man I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Yeah, we were made in the image of God. Guys, if you guys don't remember, my name is Zach. This is Zach. And y'all always know who this guy is. Sam. Woo woo. So, I just, we're going to be talking about something pretty cool today. And I'm really glad that y'all have tuned in. But I want y'all to try something first, okay? I want y'all to try and think about, try not to think about pink elephants. Don't think about it. Don't think about how big an elephant is or how pink it is or how silly that would look. Don't think about that, okay? Zach. I thought about pink elephants. Why? I told you not to. I tried, but I couldn't. Not. It's just happened. All right, can I tell you a secret? What? I uh, thought about pink elephants, too. <sighs> okay, that makes me feel better. That yeah. That makes me feel better. So, can you go ahead? I want you guys, if you can, I want you to pause the video and oh. go grab a notebook. Go grab a notebook. And Sam's going to go grab a notebook. Wow, look at Sam it. being all fast. prepared. That's awesome. So... We're going to be talking about our thoughts today and how we can change our thoughts. Because earlier, it just didn't work. The pink elephant just made me think about it more. Okay? So, we're actually going to use the Bible and we're going to be reading in the book of Philippians. It's actually a letter that Paul wrote. And Paul was somebody that was a new believer in Jesus. And he was on his way to go talk to Caesar. And we're actually going to have Sam read that for us. Let's see what it has to say. So this is Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 if you want to turn to your Bible. It says, finally brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. So let me just give you all a little backstory. Paul actually was writing this letter from being in prison. He was in home prison. Yeah, so as he was in home prison, he actually was going to see Caesar, but he was on house arrest. And because of that, he could have felt lonely because he was all alone. He could have felt disappointed in himself because he didn't get to do what he meant to go do. And then he also could have been afraid. And another reason why I could have been lonely is because he left his friends and his family behind to go do something. And so, have you guys ever felt that way before? I know I felt afraid sometimes and lonely. But the truth is that we have the power to change our thoughts. And we change what we want to focus on. We get to choose that. So, my question is, every time that you are feeling 
alone or afraid or disappointed, what are you going to focus on? Because the truth is, you get to choose what you focus on. And so we're going to try this out. We're going to try it out. You ready? This is why you had to grab your notebook. So, Sam, I'm going to have you write something that you believe about yourself. Something. Something Maybe. good or bad. Something bad. Something mm-hmm. bad. That I am bad at math. Okay. Write it down. Bad at math. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and write down something that you, maybe you're not the best at or you often think about yourself in a negative way. Okay, and so grab a different marker. All right. I like it colorful, you guys. I like it colorful. Y'all don't have to be as colorful as me and Sam, but... We got pink. Pink All right. and blue are the best combo, in my opinion. So, you're going to draw an arrow. All right. Go down. And I need you to... I'm going to grab you and red. Okay. And I want you to put a big X over bad at math. Over bad at math. I need a big, big and thick red X. Yeah, perfect. All over that. And then we're gonna show them after. All right. Perfect. Bad at math. Mm. And then you're gonna draw a red arrow. All right, a red arrow. Big arrow so they can see it. Oh, that's perfect. That's what we like to see right there. Okay. So, and then we're going to put, so he's bad at math, but what does Jesus say about him? What does God say about him? What can we focus on that the Lord says about him, right? And so I think that he's wholly made and that he's perfect as he is. That's what the Lord says about him. So that's what we're going to choose to focus on. So if you could put wholly made. Yep, that's the W, okay. Awesome. So we're going to show you this. And the reason that we did red, right, like if we take this red, you see the red crossing out the blue. The blue is our opinion. But the red is what Jesus, because Jesus died for us, he gave us a new identity. So we're using his death, red, to show our new identity and how we see ourselves through the death of Jesus. That's why the red is so important. And that's why if God made you, and he died for you, I think he gets to define who you are, not some mess up that you've had. So we're going to do one more example. All right, let's think. Um, are you ready for this one? Let's hear it. That I'm bad at art. Bad at art. Okay. Example. We'll see your artwork. Do you think you could come back next week and show it to us? That'd be something pretty cool. That would be cool. All right. Let's do green. Let's do green. Bad. There you go. That looks pretty Bad. good. That'll help. Art. Hmm. Don't think my handwriting is that great, guys. Okay. Hmm. So go ahead and draw an arrow. All right, let's draw an arrow. Hmm. See you guys. It's pretty it decent. Happens. It looks pretty it good. Happens. So. Hmm. See, when I think of that, I have to agree. I'm pretty bad at art as well. But what God says is that he's given me everything that I need to be successful and to do what he's called me to do. He's equipped me. So what you're saying is it's okay that I'm bad at art. Yeah. And that there's other things I can do? Yeah. You have unique gifts. So while you may not be good at one thing, you're gifted at another thing. So maybe I should instead look for the things I'm good at so that I can glorify God that way. Yeah, exactly. I think it honors God the most when you see yourself through that view. And so that's something I want to challenge you about. If you weren't able to make it this week or if you are not going to be back for a while because of the whole COVID thing, then I think it'd be really cool if you put in the comments what you took away from this video and what truth that you need to apply. And another cool thing is, if you don't know or you're struggling with coming up with some of God's like views of you, a good way to do that is to read your Bible. And you get to walk through that with a 
life group leader or a small group leader here at church or your parents or with Sam. So that's some cool ways you can do that. And with that being said, I think that's all that we have today. So I will see you guys soon. Bye, you guys. Later. The Apostle Paul wrote, Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. You know what that means? It means you're in charge of what you think about. Maybe you can't control every single thought that enters your brain. Think about fish. You must think about... But you can control the thoughts that you focus on. No! <laughs> yes, you can. Having integrity doesn't just mean you're honest with other people. It means you're honest with yourself too. And to do that, you need to try and focus on things that you know are true. Things like, God made you. God forgives you. God loves you. He loves you so much that he sent Jesus to die on a cross for you. And he's big enough to bring Jesus back from the dead. So he's bigger than all of the things that you and I worry about. So the one thing to remember from today is this. Focus on what's true. And if you ever feel like you can't control your thoughts or if the voices inside seem too loud, talk to someone you trust about it. Find someone who will help you stay focused on the truth of God's amazing love for you. You know what? I'm gonna choose not to believe the voices that are telling me that I'm not any good. God made me, I am good. And then I'm going to try to give the best speech that I can. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? No. <laughs> I mean, nope. Yeah, yeah, I thought not. I'll see you around, everybody. I'll be thinking about you. Bye. Wow, that was some pretty good stuff, you guys. That was awesome to worship. Great. The game, game super fun. fun. Your so message, fun. dude, really good. I liked it. Like Thanks, what it dude. Said. Thanks, dude. I had some tips from somebody. <laughs> somebody named Sam. So, anyways, I hope that you guys remember the basic truth and that we have the power to change our thoughts and that you get to choose what you want to focus on. The bottom line is that God sees you different than how you view yourself. And that truth and that love is for you. And there are adults that want to walk that out with you and want to help you learn with that. And I really, really think it would be cool if you tried it five times this week to replace the lies with the truth and change your thoughts. Five times. Just five times. I think you can do that. Next week, I'll be here. Me and Sarah are both going to do this five times. Five. five. Cool? Sound good? I think y'all can do this. Well, thank you guys so much for watching us on this Sunday. Sunday. Well, thank you guys so much. And I look forward to seeing y'all soon. Awesome. See you guys. Bye.